Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Woohoo! So I just wanted to continue discussing. Um, Here's some more artworks. If you haven't had a chance to see them on the agenda, I highly recommend you taking a look and seeing how other people are tackling different graphite techniques and layering and so um keep in mind your artwork is never going to be as dark as this for example this is black she's using a gray pencil so it's never going to be the same but we're trying our best to shade all the skin there's very little white the only white i see on this is the eye i want to zoom in on this and share this with you that's the only white on the paper for real and everything else has blending and shading and she still needs to put in some more darks like in the nostril and the little creases but you don't want to age the person you don't want dark outlines she clearly needs more darkness in the neck area here but you know she's got a great start she's got a great start on the darks in her ear and then step back and take a look at things from a distance to see what stands out and what needs to be darker most people are afraid to put in the darks same with this one. She's got a lot of shading, but there's still substantial darkness that she needs to put in, layer in to make other things pop more. And that's all I got to say today. This will be due at 7 p.m. for your, um, I'm going to say it's the assignment, but I'm sure um, some of you are going to need to um, do substantial work to raise your grades, but I will put in the assignment for today um like i said i'm starting the grade today so i'm going to go ahead and create that right now this is going to be assignment what are we going to call this portrait assignment i want to see a side by side side by side and that means portrait on the left photo I'll say photo on left and drawing on the right because I read from left to right that's really important and we're going to talk about a criteria of what I'm grading you on okay there's going to be several aspects of this that I'm grading you on and the first so this is like the rubric grading Who can give me an example of something that I'm going to be grading you on that you know off the top of your head? Anyone? Anyone want to contribute? Um, our values. Yes. Thank you. So the first thing I'm going to make sure is an accurate drawing and proportions and i helped you with this right i gave you permission to start shading once it's accurate somebody said what was it value range a full value range of lights mediums and deep darks that match the photograph think of that value scale if you need to draw a value scale to figure it out do it anything else anything else we could add Craftsmanship is something that I think a lot of you may not understand the word and you need to learn it. Craftsmanship is like attention to details. Um, you know, showing skill, showing skills learned. And really taking care. in your artwork. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to be rating these based on this rubric. So if you get a low score, you know why. 
and I'm trying to give you the answers to the test before you turn this in. If your proportions aren't accurate, and obviously I'd rather you turn in something is better than nothing because this is 100 points here. Even if it's not finished, so I'm going to put that in bold, please turn in something that is always better than nothing. Because I know we have some students, maybe, you know, you had some personal problems or whatever, and you're still catching up. I don't want to give out zeros. I'd rather, you know, from a scale of zero to 100, I can maybe give you half credit, you know, for certain things. But I don't want you to dilly-daddle either. If I give you all the time in the world, nobody's going to finish. That's what I've learned. So I have to give deadlines. And I'll give you feedback, and then I'll give you the opportunity to make revisions. I, Because some students are like, oh, are you grading late work? Yeah, but I'd rather give you partial credit first. I always accept late work on assignments not proof of practices. Those proof of practices are only worth five points, but the assignments are worth a hundred, right? Everything we do leads to a 100 point assignment. But it adds up if you don't do those. Does anybody have any questions about this? It's just not fair to all the students that do their work in a timely fashion on time. So I have to respect that. You know, there's kids that do what they're supposed to do every day. And then there's some of you stragglers that don't. But I'm giving you till 7 p.m. I'm giving you so much extra time. And, you, you know, I expect you to use that time. I expect you to use class time. And if you didn't do it, then you need to do it as homework. I hate giving out homework, but it's kind of like you're giving it to yourself if you're not using your class time wisely. I don't want to be the bad guy. I want to nurture and encourage you to feel that you can be successful. What I've noticed is students either get an A or they get an F. There's not a lot in between. Um, the students that get B's are the students that don't always turn in their proof of practices. But if you do, you know, then you're going to get an easy A. I care about the effort. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and help students individually as best as I can.